All right, Cybermander, you are what the you are why. This is why everybody should run a ground type. This is why they're bulky. <laughs> this is why everybody should have a ground type Pokemon. They can do this. <laughs> this is why. This is why I like ground type Pokemon. They are able to take a beating. But <laughs> They don't have a whole lot of weaknesses, so they're fine. Hey guys, Zach Mars here, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So in the previous episode, well, first and foremost, our pal down there, Arvin, is... Taking care of all of the uh, brute bonnets that escaped. And now we're prepared to go into Zero Lab and just finish the story. I think all of my Pokemon are at the levels they're supposed to be. I have held items on all of them. Um, and I also have a general idea of what I think the boss will have. The final boss will have. So I think we're good to go in. Oh. That was a sun. That was a sun. Okay, that didn't. I don't think that got that spawning got tested correctly. Then again, that's kind of a running theme with this game. They didn't. Uh, oh yeah, that didn't. That did not get properly tested. Okay, that's just a pop in. They're just dropping the. They just dropped the player right in. Uh oh. Oh. Microscope and various samples have been left here. Uh. Well, there's the professor. Alright. Human presence detected within Zero Lab. Oh. Okay. This is weird. Why? She just slumped over. Deactivating sleep mode. Mmm. That was weird. Hello, Zach. Thank you for coming. Oh, this thing. No, back to your ball. Oh, she's got full master balls. This one is that one is far less tra tra tractable and far more aggressive than the one you traveled with. You're crying on flight arrow zero because it lost the other one in a territorial struggle. Hmm. I'm afraid that there is something I, for, for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. I kind of figured that. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence with the Professor created and be with her memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed re- Oh. Professor Sada's dead? Okay, that's interesting. The Pokemon, the Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original Professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. Hmm. So the time I first researched, reached out to Director Clavel and asked him to be put in contact with you. I was never more than an AI. Hmm. Zach, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the... At the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish you would really put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Okay. That most certainly explains a couple of things. Okay, and there's this thing. What is this thing? You can see a strange rock-like clump, rock-like clump, and something of something inside the machine. 
Uh, that's... Uh, there's, this is a... Want to lie down for... I guess! Just to make sure I'm all fully healed. You, Bunsen, and the rest of your party feel full of energy again. Okay, this is... This is freaky. Various research documents are scattered on the desk. Okay. So it's just a mess down here. Hang on, there's something written here. In order to better defend the Zero Lab, I have developed what I call the Pokeball Lock System. Once it has identified ideas of certain but specific Pokeballs, it can... The rest is too fade to make it out. Ooh? Okay, that's weird. Various research documents are scattered on the desk. It's a picture of a young boy and a master if they look very friend really friendly with each other. Uh, this is a mess. Booster energy! And I am to be held by a Pokemon with certain abilities. Oh. You can see strange... Okay, there's this, this is all the machines. Okay. Alright. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Mmm, this is weird. I like how the story's going, though. It's interesting. Zack, it's truly a great relief to f for me to know that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? So it seems like... Okay, so the Terra Crystals are helpful for making AI, it seems. And only in this specific area. <laughs> because it, she... So she can't even leave. That makes a little bit of sense, I guess. As I explained to you, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that this is a fact that may be difficult for her son, Arvik, to accept. Now I, I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point in the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. Okay. Well, we've established... Well, time travel's a bit of an interesting thing in Pokemon. It doesn't always exist, but it, it's a it's a kind of an un... un I mean, that was how they explained um, transfer between Generation 1 and Generation 2, I remember. But, uh... Yeah, it's not a it's not a it's not a very common thing that exists, but it is a thing that exists in this franchise, even if it, they don't use it all the time. When she was alive, Professor Side had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, when, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original Professor had a dream. Of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. I don't see that happening. They look very... They seem very wild. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is the natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon fr from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. You know what? That's fair. But any hope I, of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Zack, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. Okay. I guess. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Hmm. 
All right, so that's the question breaks. Oh, it's pretty in here. Uh, that's the time machine. Oh no, that's the time machine. But it, that's a part of it, I'm assuming. Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the Tadashiro Phenomenon. I like it. Alright, and that is... Okay. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very likely... It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. So you loved the volume since childhood. You place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely not, I will most likely attack you. A fire official being there, once that ha happens, I'm afraid it will become more, no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone that identifies as an obstacle by my code. Huh. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of the battle of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Ooh. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon its pedestal. Okay, we're gonna. I think we're in a good place to do that. So, do I have? I, I have a medium candy. I guess that'll. I guess I'll have to do. Alright, let's just level everybody up to at least level 66, I think. Alright. I think everybody's ready? I think everybody's ready for what, they're, what has to be done. So I think... Well, we're gonna save... Because I get the feeling this is the final boss. If we haven't to, in fact, shut down the time machine and save Faldea, then I'm pretty sure this is the final boss. Alright. I think we're good. Will you place the Scarlet Book on his pistol? Sure. ID confirmed, Professor Sada. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It is up to you now, Zach. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offense protocols. Oh. Please defeat me. Oh! At last. At last my dream is within reach. And you are and you are now getting in the way. Okay. Mmm. AI saw has initiated a battle. Slitherwing? Well... What level is he at? I don't know who you are. think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Alright. I wanna say this thing is probably... It's... Well, it's based on... It's based on... that. It's... What is it? It's based on... Uh, I want to say it's based on... Uh, what the hell is it based on? I, I don't know what the Pokemon is. I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head. So we're just going to switch into a Pokemon that can maybe handle this. But this thing's cool looking. I'll give it that. Okay. 
This is the power of the ancient past old. Splendid, isn't it? Alright. Okay, I think we're... Aqua Ring. Okay, so it's Bug. Alright, well, part Bug, I should say. Not quite Bug. Uh, it should be weak. It should be weak to what I got. So, let's trust this. Oh, of course, we can miss terribly. That's also a possibility. I didn't think of that. Okay. Just to calculate a critical hit for your Pokemon. It's time for your simply gave up, child. Oh. Oh, this thing doesn't have the same typing as... Never mind. So, it seems it got rid of... Let's try swapping in Bunsen and seeing what happens. I think it got rid of its fire typing. So, I think... Fire is the way to go, then. Alright, just... I'm kind of spitballing a little bit, because I have no idea. Torch Song. Alright. I like the design for these things, though. Yeah, it's Bug. Okay, so Bug weakened it. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? I kind of understand. Alright. Brute Bonnet. Keep current Pokemon, because I'm pretty sure... Because Brute Bonnet is... Well, actually, Brute Bonnet is part dark, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. But, as long as we don't hit it with Shadow Ball, we'll be fine. Yeah, Torch Song. Okay. Brute Bonnet's defeated. This isn't a hard fight, but... Sandy Shocks? With a name like that, it sounds like it'll it's weak to ground type moves. So I think we we're gonna go in with that. Slime Amander. Yep, I had a feeling. Earthquake. Will I survive the hit? Yes, I will. Question is, will he? Do you imagine you can beat best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Uh, yes. Because that is three of your six Pokemon down. But some sort of error has occurred here. Recalculating for critical damage. Okay. We're doing it. Scream to... Oh, we know what Scream Tail's weak to. We know it's Scream Tail's week, too. Watch this. Swapping Bunsen. We know it's Scream Tail's week, too, because we fought Scream Tail. We own a Scream Tail. Alright. I'm curious how many of these we've seen. I'm curious how many of these we've seen. Shadow Ball. That doesn't hurt very much. Okay. That's bulkier than I thought. Okay, I may need to heal. Bunsen flinched and couldn't move. Great. Fantastic. That's what we would hate to see. <laughs> as long as it doesn't kill me with Zen Headbutt, it'll be fine. But it seems like that's where it's going. So... Fluttermane. We fought Fluttermane. We'll be fine. All right. Shadow Ball. 
Uh-oh. I'm going down. Going down. Yep, figured. What else we got that's super effective against it? Effective, effective, not very effective. Uh... I think we swap and punch at you. He's not effective against it, but I think we swap and punch at you. Use Revival Blessing starting off. Yeah, Revival Blessing. Revival Blessing is great. Full Restore. I feel like Bunsen's going down. I feel like I'm going down. Yeah, Shadow Ball. This thing's fast, so that's what I'm worried about. This thing's fast. Regardless, I don't think I was going to be able to outspeed it. Shadow Ball? Uh, let's hope I survive a Shadow Ball because I just fully healed my Padoon. I'm fine. Hmm. I don't think Shadow Ball has a lot of PP on it. Let's hope. Alright. Mm. There's no way this is gonna work. It's faster than me by a lot. I think the only thing we can do is potentially stall it out. Five. Battle. How many? Fifteen. I gotta go through fifteen of these. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Okay. Pokemon. Uh, Sylvie might be fine. Sylvie will be able to survive a Shadow Ball, I'm sure, because Sylvie is bulky. Or not. Critical hit. Okay. It's spamming Shadow Ball, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. No, that didn't work. Okay. Bird Shop? Survive? No. No survive. Well, what do I have else do I have that's super effective against it? Because I don't have a lot that go in. Hmm. Uh, Pika Blue, we're gonna try with you. You just have to kill it a little fast. I'm not going to take the gamble. I'm going to go with a full restore on you. I think you're bulky enough to take it, but I also am worried that you're going to die if, if at this low health. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Draining kiss? I didn't know it got Thunderbolt. God damn it. Okay, this, sh this. Hmm. 
Mm. Well. I got plenty of full restores. I think it's time you just sat here and did and held off things until I got it under control. I think with your special defense you'll be bulky enough. Yeah, but it's gonna lower his special defense, so I can't dawdle a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna start getting people up on the field up again because I think he'll be able he'll be fine for now. Okay, no mm, mystical fire. Okay. It seems it's run out of things. It seems it's run out of things. It's run out charges on Shadow Ball, so I th should be fine. Alright. It's lowering my special attack, but that's okay. It's fine. We're fine. We are in the good now. I have gotten rid of its Shadow Ball. That is the main threat it had. <laughs> it's good. Power Gem. I resist that. I eat those. I'm fine. Alright. This is a bit cheap, but it's working. So I'm happy. <laughs> it's a bit cheap, but it's working. So I'm happy. I think I'll eat another Mystical Fire. I'll be fine. Because it's only other thing that I know it has that I'm worried about is Thunderbolt. But it can't hit me with Thunderbolt anymore. It can't, it can't hit me with Thunderbolt while I have while I have Slimamander out. So I think I'll be fine to just go. Alright. Slimamander, you are what the... You are why... This is why everybody should run a ground type. This is why. They're bulky. <laughs> this is why everybody should have a ground type Pokemon. They can do this. <laughs> this is why. This is why I like ground type Pokemon. They are able to take a beating. <laughs> they don't have a whole lot of weaknesses, so they're fine. Okay, so we recover from fading. Okay, it's lowering my special attack, but that's check status. Yeah, oh, my special attack is as low as it can go. So even if it hits me with that again, I cannot be... Okay, I guess that's a blessing in disguise. It can't really lower my stats any more than it already can. So, that means I have lo it has lost its ability to do secondary effects on me, which is great. Okay, let's heal up. Full restore. Power gem. Power gem doesn't do anything to me. Critical hit though. Let's use a max explosion on Zoldy. All right. Let's go fire. I think they okay. And now. Bunsen, you got this. <laughs> Bunsen has got this. There's no way he doesn't at this point. Mystical Fire does nothing to me. Oh, but he lowered my special... But I can easily... Well, I can get that back, actually. Because, cause, you know, I have Torch Song. Oh, I forgot that did that. Perfect. Alright, Fluttermane fainted. And I believe what her last she's on her last Pokemon. Roaring Moon Oh, we've heard about Roaring Moon. We know what Roaring Moon is. Roaring Moon, if I remember, is based on Salamence, which means it should be Dragon type. I remember reading the article about that. So I think we got this. I think we got this. Alright, 
and Roaring Moon. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the possibility of you winning is zero. If you say so. Roaring Moon! Okay, Roaring Moon! Th they were right. The booster energy was used up. Photosynthesis! Oh. Okay, well. I'm not worried. Draining Kiss. Okay. That did a lot of- that healed a lot of damage. Okay, this thing's weak. Very- this thing doesn't seem- well, actually, this thing doesn't seem very powerful. I mean, actually, it looks very powerful. It's based on Mega Selements, after all, but... In, which is interesting. It's running a Mega- it's technically running a Mega Evolution without actually being- it being a Mega. It's very interesting and very weird, but it works. Draining Kiss. I think you've got this, my friend. Draining Kiss. I think I should survive a st Stone Age. Yeah, because it didn't get a critical hit, which means she's out of Pokemon. Fantastic. Well, almost all of them. We also know about the Koridon. So, I'm interested to see how that fight's going to work now. You defeated AI Sada. Impossible. Hmm. Well? What's next? Seems we shut down the time machine. Zack! Uh, your mom's a, a robot. I don't know how to tell else to tell you this. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? But thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're not really... You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone so long, Arvid. Mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. But, whoa, what's going on now? Time Machine doesn't like being touched. There's another army Pokemon on its way here. It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the Time Machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? Was keeping the Time Machine running truly all the Professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Isada's ID. Wait, what? Programming initiated. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Oh, this is a problem. AI SATA disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol in initiated. What do we got now? You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by Ada Sada? You are ch challenged by Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh. Oh. Koridon. Oh, that doesn't work. I understand. Battle? You can't battle without Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. Here, how are we even supposed to battle? 
Pokemon. Swap in. Oh, shit. <laughs> the only Pokemon we have, of course. Oh. He's beautiful. All right, and now we're ready. Versus. What do I got? <laughs> Alright. Karana and the Guardian Paradise. It suddenly turned harsh. Opposing Karana turn, turn. Oh. Karana's base basking in sunlight, sending its. Oh, okay. What, are can I, what can I fight with this thing? Uh. Uh. Summary fighting dragon. Oh, but it has no dragon moves. Turn okay. I guess we'll go with flamethrower. No, collision course. I think because okay, it's locked out all of my I'm non-offensive moves. Okay. Well, that works for me. Okay, so it's got- it's fight exactly like a Titan Pokemon. It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Karana. You got this. Alright. Okay. Oh, and I'm level 68, so I should be fine. Flamethrower. You will fall here within the Guardian- this Garden Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Flamethrower. Okay, not very effective. About what I expected. All right. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goal will be eliminated. Oh. Bulk up. Okay. So it's got a slightly better move set than I do. But that also makes sense since we haven't really learned any moves with this thing to begin with. This thing looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Zack. Uh. Collision course. The data I am, says I am superior. Follow me, come a foundation upon within which my dream will be built. Giga impact. Oh. Brian tapped it out so he wouldn't feel sad. Oh, Karinon has full max friendship because we've gone on our journey with it. And is scripted to have max friendship here. You took that hit like a champ. You're gonna do this. I know you can't. So, does that mean I can't be fainted? Because that's what the ball the buffs are supposed to be. Frozen Karina must recharge. Right. Because you just use Giga Impact, which is a very powerful. S well, not a stab move, but a powerful normal type move, which means it hits neutrally for everything. Oh man, can we really not pull up? Can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Zach, your terror orb's glowing. Zach, right on. Trash lies and finish this off. Hmm. Brian's defense rose. Okay. Battle? Oh, I turned Trash lies. Terra, Terra Blast. Go for it. All right, time to finish this thing off, I guess. All right, this is a very kick-ass way to end this game. <laughs> I will give them that. Oh, 
All right. Now it's now the AI is truly free. You defeat the Paradise Protection Protocol. Okay, that was an awesome ending to that game. That's awesome. I loved that. You did it. it it's not going berserk anymore? How? How very astounding. The thing that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. So showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose with yourself for, to, for yourselves now, with pride. Thank you, Zach. I thank all of you, children. But I'm afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What, what does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your free you and your free you your freedom. The way you came together, working in the league with your fellows and caring for them. The way you sought strength to better yourself, throwing all your all all you are into your battles. The way you did not the way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way you would never never cease to seek, nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the way you so the, the way you soared free through the very skies in those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out which I might tr which I may treasure above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am instructively connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to a journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. But you can't come back. What? You can't just leave now, right when you finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm so sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You you can't. That's that. Uh, you can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Karidon, Zach. It is a little bit. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Nom. <laughs> oh no. Well, that went right into the fields. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Alright. How could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? No, he is not. He finally he finally gets to see his mom, quote-unquote, and now she's gone. Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I know that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... 
Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's that's okay. Yes. You did good, buddy. I guess Cryon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form? How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rubble, it's huge like this. I say they think I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, now let's not skip over the big win here. Zack and Cryon just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Zack. Yeah, that's my bud Zack for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. She's not good with her words, so it's fun. What should we do now, Zack? Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yes, Zack, come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. All right. And that's the end of the story, I think. I don't think it was as long as po as Pokemon traditionally is. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Zach, not here too. Come on. Okay, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. All right. Adventure time! Alright, I think that's the end of the story, but I also know that the char that the song that plays during the credits is copyrighted. So I think I'm just gonna cut that out. But that was a fun game! That was fun. Okay, so obviously I had problems with it. Obviously, the game did not have enough time to fully get iron all of its problems ironed out. I've been very vocal about that. That's a very obvious thing. You can kind of see that. There's a lot of graphical tear. There's a bit of graphical tearing when you turn the camera. There were a lot of glitches at launch that got patched out and are still getting worked on. And in general, there's just a couple of things that the, ge that the game needed to have ironed out that it didn't honestly have time for. It needed at least another year for that. And, and that's a problem I have with modern Pokemon in general. That's just a thing. It, where uh, Game Freak is not being given enough time. I don't know who's in charge of that, but Game Freak is not being given enough time to actually fix, to actually get, make the game as good as it can be. And it's causing problems for their development cycle. Like, obviously, Sword and Shield was a bit of a, was a bit, had a bit of, quite a few muddy textures. Legends Arceus was janky and experimental, but it worked. And then here we had a lot of graphical issues, and I think this game is probably the game that's starting to break the camel's back, as it were. This is the, this is like the fun. This is it's getting to that point, but honestly, I enjoyed this, Regar regardless of the of the of the technical issues that were abound with this game. I enjoyed it immensely. It it is it was fun as our first real poke three uh, first first real Pokemon adventure, where we get to go out and explore. That was a fun, that was, this was a fun game. This was, I will openly admit that this was fun. I liked exploring the region. I liked seeing all the gym, meeting all the gym leaders. I liked battling all the Titan Pokemon. Team Star is probably my new favorite, quote unquote, evil team because they're not really evil. They're just, they were just misunderstood. And then we finally figured out the truth. And now they're having a better, happier ending. And then the whole final boss sequence where you go down to Area Zero, you find out, hey, the professor is dead. And then you, and then you, and then you battle the professor in one final, in one epic final confrontation. That was great. That was a great, that was a great final battle. That was fun. And also, obviously, all of the, obviously, all of the Paradox Pokemon. I now have to do this on stream as well, which is the thing. 
I'm going to have to fight whoever's on this, whoever is at the end of the, I think Professor Turo then. If, the, if it's the same story, then obviously Professor Turo is going to be the AI on stream and he's going to have his own versions of the Paradox Pokemon that I'm going to have to fight. And we know they're from the future based on what it's supposed to be, but overall, this was a fun game and I'm happy I played it. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy enjoy playing as well. I still obviously have to finish Pokemon Violet as well. That's going to be happening on stream this weekend. And I'm doubling up the streams because obviously I had issues with scheduling conflicts and those kinds of things. So I didn't wind up streaming last week and I'm going to stream to double this week. But uh, overall, this was a blast. This was a, this was a fun game beginning to end. And uh, obviously we still have the post game. And, uh, obviously the game, and I liked Karinon. Karinon worked as a, as a mount. He was designed to, he, he did what he was supposed to do. He got you around the map. He, you learned a bunch of things to get better at going around the map as you defeated all the Titan Pokemon. And I did like that. I liked how all the different routes unlocked different things that you were supposed to do to actually get better at the game, to actually get better at the game and improve how well you explore the game. Obviously, you had a... All right, I think that I think that's the end of Ed Sheeran's bit in the in the credits. So I think I'm good to put the audio back on this as normal. So it should be fine. But yeah, this was a fun game. I enjoyed I enjoyed that a lot. That was a fun idea. But yeah, that was a fun little story. That was a fun story. I enjoyed it. I, I don't really know what else to say. Karina was good for getting around, and I do like that all the different story elements got you different things that to unlock. Obviously, going through the Path of Legends, i.e., the main story. The, the was act was how you got, unlocked Karadin's new abilities and enabled him to explore. Um, then you had the then you had the victory then you had Victory Road, which unlocked new things as you explored around, as, which unlocked new things by enabling you to catch stronger Pokemon and train them higher so that you can actually do a thing um, and actually complete the game. And then finally, you had the, you had the, the Starfall Street, which unlocked new TMs for you to use, which made your team more powerful. That's a fun. Uh, that was they. They were all fun ideas, and they were all done well. I just had a lot of issues with the graphic with how the. Thank you, treasure friends. Oh, that's that's okay. But oh, that's adorable. That's adorable. And now they're all gonna be lifelong friends forever. That makes me. That's that's hap That's a good ending to that. All right. So what up? Uh, oh, and we're just straight into the post game. Okay. I thought it was going to take a ding, ding dong, ding dong. Calling all students to the director's office. Mr. Zach, Mr. Mona, Mr. Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Oh. I think he figured out what we were supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> I think he figured out we were in the Great Crater and weren't supposed to. I think that's what that's about. Let's be perfectly honest. That has to be... How to change Karana's form. You can now select Karana while the main menu is open. You can now have to change its to spell form, its ride form. Oh! You want to change Karana to its battle form? Yes. Your party is full. Would you like to move a Pokemon to your boxes to make space? Oh, I see. I have Karidon. Okay, so I just can access Karidon, but only if I have an empty space. I guess we'll move Sylvie? I guess we'll move Sylvie into the box. For now. I just want to see what this is. Crime's ready to battle. Sylvie wants to send to your boxes. Okay. Uh, let's check the summary. Can I change it? What, what moves can I give it? What moves does it know? Uh, Dragon Claw? Oh, it's gonna cut. Oh, it gets Drain Punch. Oh, that could be helpful. Drain Punch is very good. Dragon Claw, Break, Drain, Punch, Break, Break. Drain Punch isn't powerful, but it heals you, so it's very good. Break, Break, Breaks Through Defenses. It gets a couple of interesting things here. Rock Smash, Ancient Power, Sunny Day, um, or a Calcum Pulse. We already know how that works. Um, and, okay, so we can just have Coridon as a regular ability. As a regular Pokemon, if we want to absolutely play with him. Uh, we're not, because I would like to be, because the idea of being able to... We're trying to ride for him. And we're gonna... And we're gonna put our... Open our boxes. We're gonna put... So that's pretty cool. We can switch between... Battle form. So we can switch between its battle form and its ride forms now freely from the menu. Provided we have an extra space open. 
So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that it was a thing. But in any case, what I was talking about, we've got, obviously we've got a couple of, we, we now have the post game to work on. And apparently the game thinks I'm still at area zero, even though I'm not. I'm in my room at Mezagoza. Uh, which is interesting. I can probably take the, remove the destination marker from this. And I forget that, yeah, Clavel, Clavel wants to talk to us. He's pissed. I'm pretty sure he's pissed. Um, let's be perfectly honest. He's, I'm pretty sure he's pissed. Um, he's probably, he probably found out where we were and is not happy. Let's be perfectly honest. He's probably pissed. Um, but, uh, yeah, in any case, that's going to do it for the main story. So we've got the end game now. We've got the post game to work through. Um, and that's going to be interesting to do. Because I honestly have no idea what to do. I know there is those things with the stakes, which I need to figure out how, what they are and how they work. Uh, now I, I think that's mainly it. I know there's one over here and I need to figure out where the other four are. I know there's one. Where is it? I know there's one over here. I know there's one over here, which is where I know there's a shrine over here. So I need to figure out. I just need to figure that out. I don't know what those do, but clearly there's some sort of shrine, some sort of thing that I need to work, figure out. And I need to do that. So we're going to do that. I don't know how well that's going to work, but, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to work this out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, overall, I think I've covered all my things that I, all, all the things that I liked about the game, all the things I didn't, um, obviously, obviously the game needed a little bit more time in the oven because it obviously had a lot of, it had obviously had a lot of game, a lot of, not really great game, well, there were game breaking issues that have since been fixed, but a lot of the graphical issues, there's been a lot of graphical issues, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of, what, what is it, processing issues, and honestly, I think that, I think that's just a sign that Pokemon needs more time, because, well, they, Sonic fixed that finally, they finally gave Sonic all the time he needed to actually have good, to actually have, well, sir, proper games again. Um, proper, good, well-made games again. Because for the longest time, he's been he had been crapping out ga his games have been crapped out at quite, at varying qualities. Um, the, the the team has admitted to that. I think Pokemon needs that kind of sort of spirit sort of developmental awakening as well. Because ob because obviously, obviously the games the games are still great. They're, they're great. They're of great quality. It's just I feel like they need more time. And Scarlet and Violet, I think, was the first real game where it was like. Well, no, I guess more so Sword and Shield, because Sword and Shield caused a controversy, but Scarlet and Violet, I think, is the first real game where people were like, hey, these games need more time, because obviously there's a lot of, there's a lot of technical issues that need, that were, that didn't have, that the get team didn't have time to fix. So, uh, for that, I th definitely think Game Freak just needs more time. They need at least another year or so. Um, I would be willing to wait longer. They could just add more DLC or something. On like their B team until their A team gets all it all up to snuff, or they can release more spinoffs because those are all options. Those are all options they can take. They can ju just like, and obviously, and then they, and then obviously, the anime can just be delayed or something. It can add a fill, filler arc or two to eh, fill, flush it out, and but and, and just stall for time until the games are done. There are things that sh they can do, and they aren't to to give them to give them time. But uh, like the my complaint is that the games. Are being dictated by everything else that comes out. They're being dictated. They're, they're being dictated by the anime release schedule. They're being dictated by the by the manga being released at a certain time. They're dictated by all the merch that needs to be made of the new Pokemon. And frankly, it should be the other way around. The game should dictate all of that. They should. The game should come out first, and then you decide. Hey, the anime needs to come out this time. Then the ant. Then the then the merch needs to be needs to be scheduled to release. It should be that way, and not what they're currently doing, which is just the game's being ha being semi half-assed. And then they get, and then all of the merch is like, oh, here's all this quality merch based on this game that we're not giving enough time to be finished. I think that would be a good. I think that would be a good thing for them. They just need to work out how to bet, how to hand, how to manage things a little bit better. But otherwise, I. I mean, I'll be. I'll be honest. The game's fun. Go play it if you haven't. I. I mean, I basically just spoiled the entire thing for you. But still, play it if you haven't. It's a fun experience. It's a fun. It's a fun game. I enjoyed it immensely, and I hope you guys join it immensely as well. But in any case, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. 
I'll be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It does really help me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm my way of saying thanks. So be sure to check those out. Link is down in the description. Um, but also, finally, if you want to see more, just see more content from me, then be sure to check out the videos. Link in the end screen. The top video is the most recent video. It may or may not be this video. Where's the bomb video is a video recommended to you based on what you've already seen from me. So if you want to try something new or see more of what you like, then be sure to check both those videos out. And I'm pretty sure it'll just send you more Pokemon. So go check that out either way. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.